We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Julio Arias, Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. Dan Klesak, what do you got? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Settling in now, Colton Wong. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And we'll need to keep the hot chocolate flowing tonight. 42 degrees, our game time temperature. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, Tommy Edmond. Hard hit ball to short, and the base hit is that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. That is third. The first baseman, Paul Goldberg. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt, skied down the left field line. On the move is Betts. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. That is four. The third baseman, Matt. Carpenter. Here's Matt Carpenter. Now a throw over to first, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Carlos Martinez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Carlos Martinez, one of the biggest arms in the game of baseball. Electric fastball, 95 to 99 miles an hour with movement up, down, in, and out of the zone. Powerhouse slider. And I mean, as good as any slider in baseball, his changeup has gotten better. If Carlos Martinez brings his A game, he has the chance to throw a no-hitter every time he takes them out lifted down the line and left and that's going to land foul Martinez has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career and logged in with an ERA in the low threes and he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground towards second, taken in by Wong. And there's one gone to start the night. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. The 1-1. One, one. Hit to short. Scooped up. Throw just in time. And, oh, that was awfully close. Stepping into the box, Mookie Betts looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. High 
flying deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo home run there for Mookie. Home run number five on the year. And the Dodgers strike first, one to nothing. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. In now, Cody Bellinger. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. And another foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Matt Carpenter. He'll match up with Julio Urias to lead off the inning. Full count now, three and two. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Matt Carpenter goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. At the plate, Yadier Molina lofted in the air out toward right center. McKinstry ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading to left. Pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Striding into the box, Tyler O'Neill. He comes into this April contest as one of the hottest hitters in the league. His season average up into the high 300s now. This guy's having a really good year for his age, but this is something we've seen a lot lately. Young players coming up and impacting a lineup. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, Dero, talk about a team that's scuffling right now. I had a chance to talk to the manager before the game. He's not happy. The players aren't happy. Yeah, and just a malaise has kind of come over this clubhouse. We had a chance, like he said, to walk through it a little bit. The boys are not jumping around. This is a big game today. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Striding in, Lane Thomas. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Now the payoff pitch home. Full count still. O'Neill, runner at first with two gone. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Bats on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. The right field. That's just some great base running from the guy at first. The ball had plenty of air under it, but he got a good read. 
recognizing it wasn't going to be caught, and he hustled all the way around home. That's something that shouldn't go unrecognized in that play. Into the box now, Harrison Bader. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Two run shot to straight away center. Home run number three here in the early going. And it gives the Cardinals a three to one lead. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake up call and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Stepping in now, Carlos Martinez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 3-1 St. Louis. Bottom of the inning now coming to the plate now Max Muncy and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Here's Jock Peterson now, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And, fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip, the start to it. They're 3-1 and one after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball from offense to defense pitching. It's all coming together for this group. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. And the count will be full. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. Standing in now, Will Smith pulled high in the air out to left field. O'Neill is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in, Zach McKinstry. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1-1 home. This one's down to third. Carpenter is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We've played two full. Cards lead it three to one. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Fouled off. The one two.
And it's fouled away. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck now, out, and we're only in the second game Tommy of this series. Edmund. To the plate now, Tommy Edmund. A ball and two strikes ball, now. Two strikes, now. Third inning here, three to one our score. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang oh, place at first person. as the most difficult the calls person. for an ump to make. Taking oh. a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Down in order go the Cardinals as the lead remains three to one. Leading off the inning, Julio Arias as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The one one home. Misses above the zone for a ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Left side, but well fouled. This one's down to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove, and the leadoff man is aboard. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Ready with the one and one to first. The second for one. Return throw gets him at first. It's a 3 6 1 double play. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough 3 6 1 double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Hit hard down the right field line. But that's a foul ball. The 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. Dodgers go down quietly. Score holds it's three to one. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. Comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame.
Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2 1 home. Is strike two swinging. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now battle. So the leadoff man retired here. That'll bring up Yadier Molina. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. So now to the plate, Tyler O'Neill. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Three and one to the Cardinals left fielder. And it's up to a three two full count now. I know he stole a strike right there but he better be careful with that curveball that's coming across and catching a lot of play a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it one two three go the Cardinals and it's still three to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Mookie Betts. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Things not looking very good so far in this one. But we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs. And this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Solo shot here to left, his second of the game, and the Dodgers are back within a run at three to two now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, that's why they call baseball a game of inches. Yeah, you're right, Matt. He showed some serious hops, but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with a good leap, but he just can't bring it in. And that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting. He's fallen behind now, three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from this funk. Either way, we'll see how it works.
So stepping in, Jock Peterson, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Fouled away. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. fly ball out to straightaway center center fielder on the run he gets there to put it away but the runner tags and breaks for third and he'll move up to third now runners at the corners here with one away good read there at second base to know he can make it to third on the fly out now he's only 90 feet away with one out striding in once again Will Smith as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, the pitch struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate now, Zach McKinstry. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he fouls this one off. Here's the two and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Dodgers claw back a bit on the solo home run. We played four. It's the Cardinals three and the Dodgers two. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Lane Thomas. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. In now, Harrison Bader. Fouled off. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away, and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Even count two balls and two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Betts has a read on it. He's got it and there are two down now. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Carlos Martinez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, 
north of seven eight pitch eight and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning pretty painless half of the inning all told last half of the fifth coming up it's the Cardinals three and the Dodgers two. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and Your forcing the opposing three. pitching to throw more He's strikes. For the Dodgers. All right, Number thanks, Heidi. Soft liner toward first, but no problem at first, and that's the first down. Now batting. So it's back to the top of the order now, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The one two. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right hander have stood up. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. This is in the air to right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batter. Good job. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Corey Seager. Line toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Uh, hey, d -roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Two runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. A ball and two strikes now. Line drive to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Seeger ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the play. We are knotted at three. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Hennis is Cabrera, a six-foot, two-inch left-hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Hennis is Cabrera. Standing in now, Cody Bellinger. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In his career, Bellinger hits a little over the 270 mark. The set and the 2-1. Pulled toward right center field. Thomas makes the catch, and the inning is over. Dodgers get one in the inning on the RBI double. Through five innings, we're tied now with three apiece. Jimmy Nelson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound.
Here's the second baseman Colton Wong and he's likely just trying to put one in play here 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bellinger is there and he has it for the out. Now batting. At the plate, Tommy Edmond, one for two on his line so far in the game. The 1 1 is a bunt attempt, but he missed it. Ball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Three runs, three hits, one error for the Cardinals to this point. And it's fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bellinger's under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now that, the first and that brings up Paul oh. Goldschmidt. His batter pitcher matchup numbers against Jimmy Nelson. He hits at a 364 clip. He's taken him deep once. Eight. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Nelson, formerly property of the Milwaukee Brewers, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come off-season. Two out, nobody on. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals. On to the bottom of inning number six, tied three apiece. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncie. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. bit outside two and one Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander is up and warming and he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side and a dive but it just tips off his glove as it's by him for a base hit now back better fielder into the box now Jock Peterson fly ball out toward left center field Thomas has it for route number one now at the plate Will Smith it's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point One one home. There's an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by though as a hitter. Fouled away. Here now the two two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do.
to the plate now. Zach McKinstry. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. And he goes after one up in the zone as this is popped up back near second base. Wong is there. Two down. Now batter. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. A.J. Collar will grab a bat to pinch hit. And they'll do so with a couple of runners in scoring position here, but with two out in the inning. A.J. Collar. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Thomas, still going back. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So a three-run shot to left center. Second home run early in the year, and it's now 6-3. to three. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Hey, thanks, Matt. Yeah, you know what? Dodger Stadium has always been known for a very high mound, and pitchers love to pitch in this ballpark. And Dero, when the sun goes down and that marine layer yeah, air comes in, good. this is a tough yard now, to hit the ball. I was going right there, Dan. Day game, this place plays completely different, but to do it at night, that's why it was such an impressive performance today. For them to move traffic all over the yard today, not easy to do. So now to the plate, Justin Turner. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Corey Seager would be next. High in the air out to center field. Thomas is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But the Dodgers strike for three, all courtesy of the three-run home run. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's the Dodgers six and the Cardinals three. Ross Stripling is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll. So here's the cleanup hitter, Matt Carpenter. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter. When we talk about the best hitters in our sport, I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bellinger is in his tracks now, and he's got it for the first out. Now that. At the plate, Yadier Molina becomes in 0 for 2 thus far. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. And quickly, there are two away. Into the box now, Tyler O'Neill. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he looks at one in there, one and two. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, O'Neill is hitting over 400. Doesn't matter if you're talking about a series of games or a whole career. That's an impressive figure. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. In now, Lane Thomas. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. 
Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Bellinger is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for the Cardinals. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He's working on a one for three thus far. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. Mookie Betts is on deck. The three one. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a three one count. And the yump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Mookie Betts will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. is on the ground is short could be two to second for one relay to Goldie and that gets him as well a double play doesn't come much easier than that Taylor made six four three double play and an easy one to turn so base is empty now after the double play and next to bat will be the outfielder Cody Bellinger Here's the one and one delivery. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They still lead it six to three. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher is set to enter the ball game right now, and it's the converted catcher, the hard-throwing right-hander, Ken Lee Jansen. Harrison Bader will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Two and one on its way. And it misses three and one now. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull the trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. In there, and it's full three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Grounded to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Jairo Munoz will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Jairo Munoz. A little bit outside. Two and one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Now the two one. 
lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there. Up and away. That breaking ball, d oh, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely a missed spot right there, Dan. You saw the batter's eyes light up, and he didn't miss it. Into the box, Colton Wong. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Redbirds down quietly. They're still doubled up. It's 6 3. John Brebbia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 42, John Brebbia. Next up is Max Muncy. He'll lead it off for the boys in blue here in the eighth at Dodger Stadium. Nope. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Max Muncy is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Jock Peterson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on 2-2 two and, two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Will Smith. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Now the 2-1 pitch. Three balls, one strike. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The 3-1. Now a swing and a ground ball for Wong at second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three go the Dodgers as they're unable to add to their six to three lead. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Dylan Floro comes out of the bullpen to shut things down Dodgers. here in the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 42, Dylan Floro. Now catching and batting nine. Standing number in, 42. Tommy Edmond. He's got a Off hit in three at-bats to this point. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The one two. Swing and a liner. But this will be speared at third and that was self defense all the way. One gun. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's hitless coming into this at-bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. 
Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. One one. Hit on the ground out to short. On to first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. Now batter. Ready now, three. Matt Carpenter. Matt. And he needs to make Carpenter. something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So chalk that one up as now an E6, and he really Protection. can't believe it out there. Runner at first following the error. And next to hit is the catcher, Yadier Molina. Cardinals down to their final strike here. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he now left the door wide open move. with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Digging in now, Tyler O'Neill. Now the one and one pitch. Two down, runners at first and second. And he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. Los Angeles wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jimmy Nelson earns his third win of the year in relief. Dylan Floro earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Six runs, eight hits, one error. They left four men on base. For St. Louis, three runs, four hits, one error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 21 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.